Hello, Forex traders. Let's look at the basics of TradingView and how to access and customize your chart. For starters, you can zoom in on your chart or zoom out on your chart by using the mouse wheel on your mouse. Just push that mouse wheel forward or pull it backward and the chart will zoom in and out. You can also click and hold and then drag the chart to the left or to the right depending on your needs. In addition, you'll notice some helpful buttons down here that allow you to zoom out, zoom in, move to the left, move to the right, or even reset your entire chart view, all with just a simple click or two. What you're also going to want to learn to master are your price scale. This is the price scale and your time scale. This is the time scale. You may also notice that when you hover your mouse over the price scale, you can actually compress it or you can expand it. And the same is true with the date scale as well. Just click and hold and drag. Also at the bottom of the price scale, you're going to see an A and an L. L allows for a logarithmic chart and the A is for an auto fit chart. So for example, if you ever find yourself in a position where maybe your chart is sort of not fitting precisely to your screen, well, you're going to go, you're going to want to find this A auto auto fits data to screen and click and your chart will then be auto fit to your screen for the perfect visual for yourself. And it will stay auto no matter if you zoom out or zoom in. So now that you know the basics of how to move your chart and how to zoom in and out and the price scale and the time scale, also keep in mind that if you click the settings wheel up here at the top, or if you right click on your chart and then go to settings, you can access some very specific settings that will allow you to customize this chart to your exact look and feel. So if you want to see, for example, a different background color, well, that is possible from this menu. So any background color of your choice can effectively be accessed from here. But for the sake of this video, let's sort of keep it this gray color. And these tabs here within the menu, you're going to want to really dive into because you can create an entirely custom chart that is specific to your needs and you can display the data that you need as well from this settings menu also. Now you may have noticed that when we opened up our settings menu, you could sort of see the candles were an option to change the color of them. Well, don't forget there is much more than just candle charts on TradingView because you can access hollow candles, you can access bars, you can access line charts, line with markers, you can even access an area chart or a columns chart. All of these chart types are available to you, but for the sake of this video and because of the popularity of candles, let's go ahead and click candles. And now we're going to remain a candlestick chart. You may have also noticed that there are little star icons here, and this gives you the ability to customize your favorites and make them accessible from a single click. So you can see now at the top of our chart, we've made our own custom chart type menu here that can all be accessed just like that. And of course it's there in the first place because we added them to our favorites and we can unclick again to remove them if we need to do that just like that. Lastly, there are some other key features on the chart that you'll want to pay attention to as you get started because you can get specific time ranges down here at the bottom of the chart. So let's say for example, you wanna quickly see how a symbol performed over a year, just click one Y, which means one year, and now you have a yearly view. Or you want to see YTD, which means year to date, thus the start of the year, just click YTD, and now you can see the symbol since the start of the year. You may hear that we're speaking of symbols at this moment. Well, there's a symbol search at the top of the chart that to some of you, you may already have mastered, but for those who are new, this is how you change symbols to anything. When you open up this symbol search, you have access to over 1 million different symbols. And if you want to just type in a keyword, let's type in Fed. Well, now we see all of the Federal Reserve data that's available to us. This is specifically under the economy tab. We also have Federal Reserve sorted here, but you can type in anything here, whether it's yen or euro, euro or dollar, the choice is yours. And of course, for the Forex traders out there, you might want to utilize this Forex button to only see Forex pairs. 
Lastly, because this is a Forex tutorial whereby we are welcoming you to the basics of TradingView, you may want to know that there is a Forex screener at the bottom of the chart. Just go ahead and make sure that's selected. And this means that once the Forex screener is open, you can screen for Forex pairs around the world and you have specific sorting options, whether they are pre-built by us, such as oscillators or trend following, but you can also customize them by clicking filters and sort them just by clicking any of these columns to sort by that specific column. So there you have it. You now have a basic and simple overview to the TradingView chart, including how to access the chart settings and make customizations to the look and feel of your chart, even if you want to change the color of the specific candles on the chart, as well as the Forex screener, and also so much more, such as the ability to access new chart types and understand the symbol search. Thanks for watching.